For this video, let's focus on the placeholder approach. The placeholder approach is the fastest way, with the least amount of setup, to gain value with Service Titan's project tracking module. It's ideal for long-term large-scale projects or contracts, setting a budget without knowing which specific material or equipment tasks will be used. Now that you know what the placeholder estimate does, let's see it in action. You will need to first make sure that your account is set up correctly to capture default expenses. To do this, you will need to set up project labels within the project settings page of your general settings. Project labels are used to organize expenses in the budget versus actual table. From the default preferences tab, you are able to see which labels default to what items in the price book and for your technicians. In the placeholder approach, it is critical to ensure you have default labels applied to your expense types like materials, labor, and equipment. Speaking of price book items, here you'll see that the material called labor cost has a price book level project label applied to it that says labor. Please note, project labels applied at the price book level will override the default settings. Once your project labels are set up, you can build an estimate. Let's build an estimate on a location record. To create an estimate from the location record, you will first need to click on the three vertical dots in the top right corner and select Build Estimate. From the Build Estimate pop-up, you will need to select the business unit before creating an estimate and select the plus Build Estimate button. From the Create Estimate page, make sure to add the name of the estimate and then click on the Create button at the bottom right. This will take you to the Estimate page where you will be adding the placeholder tasks. Starting with Services, I'm going to add a Contract Value Service task, which will hold the total revenue for the project. As a note, I've added the Contract Value project label directly in the price book. That is why we see the contract value tag on the service task. Now I'm going to edit the task to reflect the contract value. For this example, the contract value is $100,000. With the contract value taken care of, I'm going to add the costs in the form of placeholder materials. I'll tap Material and search for our material task placeholders. Note that project labels are automatically applied when adding the tasks. This is based on the respective labels set in the price book. Since project labels in the price book are looked at first, with our materials included, we can set the cost for each respective placeholder. For this example, I've estimated 15,000 for materials and labor and 35,000 for equipment. Now that the estimate is built out, the next step is to pursue the opportunity. Looks like we've won the contract and can now move the estimate from open to sold status. You will need to click on the sold convert option at the top of the estimate screen and then select who sold the estimate. With the estimate sold, we can now add this estimate directly to a project. You will need to click the actions dropdown and select add to project. Here, you'll have an option to either create a new project or add to an existing project. With the estimate added directly to the project, take a look at the budget versus actual table by clicking on the financials tab on the left. Then scroll down to confirm that everything looks accurate. Thanks to our approach to labels, we're able to begin working the project. And that's how you do the placeholder approach. Stay tuned for more videos on how to utilize Service Titan's project tracking features.